I want to give a very quick shout out uh, to a friend. Uh, uh, well, you know, we'll say this: a person that I've worked with on YouTube, and that is uh, Eric Hunley, right? And uh, Eric Hunley um, is facing some issues recently, and I just want to throw that out there because you may, you guys may, who well, may be newer to the channel, may not know this about me, but. When something is right and something is wrong, I'm gonna cover it. And when you're trying to come after any form of privilege, whether that's attorney-client privilege, doctor's privilege, you know, priest, penitent, or journalistic privilege, yeah, we all have to stick together on that. Uh, now, Eric and I, Eric is one, he, uh, when I first came on, you know, LawTube or whatever it was, the internet, he let me on his show early on and I'm forever thankful for that and appreciative for that, absolutely. Now, Eric and I have not always agreed. Eric has said some things that I certainly have strongly disagreed with. He's taken some positions that I think uh, are wrong and he's been a person that, you know, frankly, at many times we butted heads over certain issues. But that being said, I stand up for everybody even when I've disagreed with them. I think it's more important that we come together on issues where we agree and say, no, let's fight this battle together. So I just want to come up there and say, I am 100% behind Eric on this journalistic privilege issue. So there's an issue where the Alec Baldwin special prosecutor, after they've, you know, lightened up and kind of given Baldwin that slap on the wrist. So they're threatening to go after confidential sources of Eric Hunley, which as Robert Barnes said, and this is actually the tweet that I um, got keyed into this on and shout out to Robert Barnes. Barnes is a great guy and also a guy, by the way, Barnes and I, we sometimes disagree about stuff, but I like Barnes because he listens and he actually comes around. He came around on the Disney issue. Um, so he said it's protected under both federal and New Mexico law. Prosecutors directly involved in such illicit searches can be sued under the Federal Privacy Protection Act in 1983. And this is the issue. The issue is they are coming for Eric Hunley. And by the way, yes, I know a lot of other folks have stood up for him as well, and they should, and they should. And I just want to play this clip, a uh, short clip here, um, of, uh, of this guy with weird hair uh, <laughs> and Eric over here. Very, very short, just to give you guys some background, and then I'll give you guys some commentary on this. That's Albuquerque, New Mexico. I don't know anybody in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Voicemail. And... They did not leave a voicemail, but they texted me and said, this is Carrie Morrissey. I need to talk to you. Uh-huh. This is the special prosecutor contacting Correct. you directly saying, I need to talk to you. Yes. Okay. So intermediary is out now. <laughs> it is a special prosecutor. Now, Eric, you had been covering this thoroughly uh, mm -hmm. throughout. Uh, and you may, you know, you, you, whether or not, I think you, you would qualify as a journalist, but you're journalizing. Okay, so so Viva is not, and, and to be clear, like I love Viva, but he's not an American lawyer and he doesn't understand some of this sometimes. So that being said, he is a journalist. The The bar for being a journalist is absolutely, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's, it's nowhere, but it's pretty low, right? If he's covering this and there's a pecuniary gain, there's a financial gain, he's, he's covering, he's protecting a confidential source he's a journalist you don't need a press badge you don't need to work for abc nbc it doesn't need to be a huge news organization whether you're working for a mom and pop news shop or whether you're working for the largest news agency in the world whatever you can be a journalist if that is what you are doing and that is certainly what he does in fact look at what his emblem is it's been there forever laid back news the name of his channel is laid back news news yeah that's a journalist there so just to be very clear definitely covered and look a lot of people would be covered by this it's not a huge threshold but it's not supposed to be your the intent here is that you're covering up your journalistic sources as part of a journalistic endeavor right to go out there and make money if you guys are making money on it then there and yes don i do agree david does desperately need a haircut that's absolutely true Oh, and yeah, so we'll get to that. So journalism, if it's not a vocation, <laughs> it's an action. Uh, you're covering this, you're talking with people about the stories, and you have some you have sources. Some sources that most other people don't have, and I would say many and virtually nobody has. Is it is it a good time to segue into the breaking news right now? Oh, absolutely, sure. Okay, sure, so sure. What, what the heck is, is going on? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so what is going on 
is that he is being told by the special prosecutor that he has to divulge a source. In, in which case, he needs to tell them and should tell them to fuck off. Uh, because if somebody's trying to come after your privilege, right, you have a duty to protect that, both ethically, morally, and frankly, even legally, to fight them to the fullest extent of the law. And people are going to back you up. Because if they pierce one journalist's confidentiality and privilege, they're going to do that to everybody. It's like attorneys, right? If one attorney is forced to reveal what his client told him, every single client is not going to trust attorneys anymore. It's going to lose faith in the entire institution. So yes, he does have a duty to fight back against that, an ethical duty, legal duty, moral duty to fight against that. And as an attorney who has attorney client privilege, when I have clients, yeah, I want people to fight against any form, any form of attempt to pierce privilege. And I am with Barnes on this. If they want to sue under the Federal Privacy Protection Act of 1983, go right ahead. I think that would be a fantastic idea uh, to file suit on that. So yeah, I would tell them to, you know, F off, to go away, you know, and, and, and by the way, make money on this, Eric, do streams on it, cover it. Hell, when she tries to call you, do it live. Wouldn't that be great? Can you imagine that? If he gets the call from the special prosecutor and she's on, uh, <laughs> she's on speakerphone and he just tells her to F off live on stream, that would be mwah, classic. That would be great. You know, of course they might, they might take umbrage to that. Right. But Come on, who cares? All right, so yeah, the, the, Kelly says, let's use proper decorum. All due respect, go yourself, yes. Um, and guys, look, whenever I do it live, some people have been saying um, that uh, they're thankful in like the pre-recorded videos I do or the premieres that I don't curse. Fortunately, this is a live stream. I get worked up, guys, it's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> mi scusi. Uh, you know, especially when people, especially when we have prosecutors, and I'm talking about dirty prosecutors, I get pissed off. The moment that I really got big on YouTube was getting pissed off at Binger and Krauss in the Rittenhouse case. There's nothing I hate more than a sleazy lawyer. And, and I'm going to be clear. A lot of lawyers are sleazy. A lot of lawyers are nasty. There's a reason why I'm here doing YouTube and I'm not in a law firm. It's because I don't like dealing with most lawyers. Most lawyers are assholes. Uh, I actually say to my good friend Ben here in, in Thailand, who's a, he's a lawyer over here practicing, uh, and he's got his own practice set up over here. He's one of the few lawyers I like dealing with and, and the lawyers on LawTube, so uh, Nick and Joe, I like dealing with those guys, but probably the reason why I like dealing with them is because they're not really lawyers anymore. They're not doing law work. They've wrapped up their cases. They're kind of just hanging out and they know stuff and we can have conversations without having all the drama involved in clients. This video has been a clip of a previous live stream and it's clipped so you can get the information in a shorter, compact package, the information you need. If you want the full video, the whole context, the whole thing, you can check out the live, the full stream that is in the link below. Check that out and I will catch you guys later. Peace.